Kilauea's Leilani Estate's 2018 eruption spared the majority of the Isaac Hale State Park, otherwise known as Pohoiki. It also transformed the area by creating a new black sand beach. The eruption destroyed over 700 homes and sent torrents of lava towards the ocean. These arrows right here show the direction where the lava flowed towards the sea. And you can see Isaac Halle State Park on the lower right. The lava from the eruption destroyed the Ahalanui Warm Ponds and the Kapoho Tide Pools, which is not too far from Isaac Halle State Park. Also, lava added 1.3 square miles or 3.4 square kilometers of land to the Big Island of Hawaii. And you will see the evidence of that here. The eruption covered 13.7 square miles or 35.5 square kilometers of land with lava. The western terminus of this particular flow ended just on the eastern side of the Isaac Halle State Park. Isaac Halle State Park is located on Highway 137 on the southeast part of the Big Island of Hawaii. Now this satellite photo from Google Maps was taken actually during the eruption. Sometime before the lava reached the ocean taking out Ahalanui and the Kapoho tide pools. Here you can see Isaac Halle State Park and the Pohoiki boat ramp before the lava reached the sea and created the new black sand beach. So we're going to start from Pahoa and go south on Highway 130 and end at Uncle Robert's Ava Bar and Farmer's Market. And then we'll go northeast on Highway 137 along the shore and end up at Isaac Halle State Park. Okay, our first stop is Uncle Robert's Ava Bar and Farmer's Market, located in Kaimu at the southwest end of Highway 137. Basically what you'll find here is uh, a nice little place to stop by and get some snacks and fruits and some coffee and some ice cream. Well, the sign says it all. During the COVID-19 pandemic, no mask, no service. So let's head northeast on Highway 137 along the coasts towards Isaac Halle State Park. Now this lava flow that you see here was from the eruption of 1955. Now this lava flow is the westernmost lava flow from the 2018 Lower East Rift Zone eruption. Now we'll be coming into an area where the lava flows did not reach. This area of vegetation is surrounded by lava flows is called a kipuka. So here we are, we finally arrived at Isaac Halle State Park. Isaac Halle State Park was named in honor of Private Isaac K. Halle, who served in the U.S. Army's 19th Infantry Regiment. He was killed in action during the Korean War on the 12th of July, 1951. Here you can clearly see that the lava from the 2018 eruption narrowly 
missed Isaac Holly State Park. Here is where you can see the lava flow from the 2018 Lower East Rift Zone eruption, or Leilani Estates eruption. The lava flow only took out a small portion of Isaac Halle State Park. However, it largely spared the park from further destruction. Isaac Halle State Park dodged a bullet this time. And here you can see where the 2018 lava flow covered the sidewalk. The lava flow that you see here is anywhere from 5 to 10 meters thick or about 16 to 32 feet thick. However, this same flow in some places is as thick as 280 meters or about 919 feet. Here you can see people walking over the new black sand beach where before it was once water. This beach was formed when lava interacts with the ocean water. When that happens, the lava cools rapidly and shatters into smaller rock particles or sand, which is then carried by the currents and forming a nice beach just like this. If you look at the photo on the left, that is what the Pohoiki boat ramp in Isaac Halle State Park looked like before the 2018 eruption. The photo on the right is the one I took in October of 2021 post eruption and you can see the black sand beach in the background, whereas in the first photo there is no black sand beach. The circled area is where the new black sand beach is. And here's where the uh, two previous photos were taken from the Bohuiki boat ramp. This will probably be the next one to get covered in the future. Here you can see the new black sand beach in the background that formed in 2018. The newly formed Black Sand Beach eventually enclosed this area of the boat ramp, creating a pond. The water is heated geothermally by nearby recent lava flows from the 2018 eruption, and also from the 1955 eruption. There was actually another small geothermally heated pond that was heated from the 1955 eruption not too far from here. In fact, it's just beyond those trees. The water temperature of the newly enclosed pond is anywhere from 95 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees to 40 degrees Celsius. In fact, the hottest water is actually right in front of me in the foreground where the colder water is in the background. So before we end this, we're going to take a quick trip to the end of Highway 137 where the lava crossed the road in 2018. The lava crossed the road sometime back in mid-July of 2018. If you look at the photo on the bottom left, that is what the area used to look like before the lava crossed the road.
Here, I am standing on top of the lava flow, looking towards Highway 137. It is mainly jagged uh -uh lava, so it's very, very hard to walk on. And over in that direction is where the Ahalanui hot ponds used to be, which is about less than a mile away. I hope you enjoyed this virtual tour of Isaac Halle Beach Park. Thanks for watching our amazing and restless planet.